guys so um tutorial oh <sighs> Okay, so is this a uh, highlight and sparkle? <laughs> hey, sparklets! Today's video is an updated. Uh, what is this? Oh. Hi, sparklets! Today's video is an updated foundation routine with my highlight and contour also included. Um, if you are interested in how I get my, how I you know just do my face like my face makeup, um, keep on watching and make sure you leave me a comment below telling me what you want to see next on my channel if you are interested then yeah let's get into it <laughs> all right excuse my mondo brows right now i just recorded a brow tutorial so yeah um preparation is always key when you're doing your makeup um you always want to prep prep like your prep is definitely like um the most important thing um it's really going to determine how your makeup is going to turn out. So what you want to do is you always want to moisturize your face before you put on any kind of moisturizer. I mean, any kind of primer, any kind of makeup, anything. Always moisturize, okay? So I'm going to just hydrate my face and like, like I guess prepare my face for moisturizer. I'm just going to use this Fix Plus a little bit. It's really just going to lock in moisture when I put my moisturizer on. For moisturizer, I'm going to use the... Uh, Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. I really absolutely love this moisturizer. Um, I believe it is oil free and it does not make me like oily or anything. It smells absolutely freaking ridiculous. Like it's so good. It smells delicious. Um, <sighs> it just really wakes the skin up, makes it feel really nice and fresh. <laughs> And I put this on every day, um, every day after I do my, my skincare routine, which is the Clinique 3 step. And I really love that. Um, the toner kind of dries my, dries certain spots in my face out a little bit. Um, so I, I have to watch out for that sometimes. So yeah, but I love this moisturizer. It's so nice. It's so smooth. Um, it's not terribly sticky. Um, but it does have a smell, so if you're sensitive to smells, then I wouldn't, you know, go for that one in specific. But it's a really great moisturizer, and I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> Primers. Primers are a must-have, in my opinion. Some people do okay without it. I like it. Um, I'm using the Smashbox one. I got it from, got it from my job. Um, I just want to test it out before I buy, buy a bigger one. This is the Color Correcting Smashbox Primer. I really do like this one a lot. Um, I actually really can't see right now because the camera's blocking. So, yeah. <laughs> just, I just put this all over my face as the first primer. And it does do good with color correcting. Um, normally I don't really color... Excuse me. Normally I don't really color correct when I use this primer because I feel like it really neutralizes um, my dark spots and I really like it. Um, it does keep the makeup on long. Uh, I don't really experience a lot of creasing in my makeup when I do put this primer on but of course I do use another primer with it so that could be working too. Um, Cause I have really like bad smile lines, so yeah. Um, I like to use the Z Pore Pore Instant Pore Refiner by Good Skin Labs to um just help with like make my makeup creasing and like my fine lines, like right, right in here, my smile, smile lines. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll put that in there and just like in my nose area, cause this also helps with um oil control so that's why I really like this it's a very smooth primer it's not sticky and it's not um like you can't feel it you know what I mean like I feel like you can feel the um baby skin or like the 
poor, the, the professional, like it's greasy, like those two are greasy, in my opinion, like to me they are, um, so yeah, I don't like those, I do like this a lot, a lot, and I, I actually do like the, I think it's Too Faced, Too Faced has one, I believe, and I like that one too, I don't remember what it's called, but yeah, I like that one, um, my brows are really thick, foundation brushes, you have your standard, like, foundation brush I guess you can call this this is like a regular is it kabuki is this is this a kabuki I don't even remember you have this one you have your flat top I really love this for foundation you have your powder brush and then you have your dual fiber stippling brush I like this this creates a really nice natural finish to your um foundation very airbrushed look but I but my all-time favorite is this one, though. And this one is from Sedona Lace. It's the FB07 brush. Fave. I like to use um, this or uh, the Real Techniques one. Um, and then you have, of course, your regular standard flat foundation brush, the original. And I like whenever I use this, I always use it with a beauty blender because um, it gets streaky sometimes. So, yeah. And this will apply full coverage, like... You'll get probably the most amount of cover using this, so yeah. But I feel like you also use more foundation when you use that brush. So I only use it when I'm going for like super, super, super full coverage, which is like never. <laughs> this foundation is um, too dark for me. It's too toasty, um, but I'm just trying to use it up right now so I can switch to a different foundation. I've just been trying new foundations out um, to see what I want to use in my kit. Um, I really like this so far. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I have the color Amber Honey right here. It's not my foundation color. I know it's not. It's too orange, but I've been using it anyway and just canceling it out using um, my highlight and contour. So yeah, that's been working for me. This is a very, very full coverage foundation. Um, you can see here, a little goes a long way. Honestly, it might look better on camera than it does in real life. Just kind of funny. And I just work from one part of my face to the other. Go up between the brows. Under the eye. So depending on what kind of coverage I'm going for, um, will determine like how I'll set my foundation. Um, this is MAC Studio Fix Powder. Um, this is the color NC45. I believe this is like my, this might be my true color. Like, I'm really not sure though, to be honest, because I haven't worn it just like powder foundation because I don't, I don't wear powder foundation like that. So yeah, I'll use this to set my foundation or the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This is the color dark. This is my summer color. Um, I'm actually medium, medium deep, I believe. Um, I have it somewhere. Just waiting till my um, summer color goes away for good. <laughs> so I'm just taking my Studio Fix powder and setting my foundation. This will alter the color a little bit and make it less orange. This is a Sedona Lace FBO3 brush, my absolute all-time favorite brush of life, just because I like the way it looks. And you can do this with it. <laughs> okay, so my favorite highlight, highlighting concealer to use is um, LA Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan. Um, believe it or not, one is like my actual face complexion color <laughs> but it is a really nice color though 
I do like that. I can use that like during the summertime if I've been out in the sun a lot. And the reason we highlight is to bring dimension back to the face. Um, when you put your foundation on, it just mutes out the cut, the all the um dimension is dimensions in your face. So yeah, that's why we highlight and contour. Gonna use a beauty blender or well, like a beauty sponge just to blend this out. And this one is actually not damp. Um, when I'm going for a more full coverage look, I like to use my beauty blender just dry because um, it doesn't take up as much product as you would when you use it wet. So yeah. <laughs> I like to take my foundation brush and just go back over those spots just to make sure everything is well blended. Before I set my concealer, I like to cream contour using the Black Radiant Stick Concealer. Just because I feel like it blends out better. Once I set the powder and then do this, it doesn't blend out nice. So I'll cream to contour first and then set my concealer. gonna bake using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Love this stuff. Okay, I like to sit and bake for a couple, couple minutes just to um, set the concealer, allow it to cook, and um, it just makes the it just makes the face look really, really nice when you bake. Um, I did reverse contouring. It's gonna make my contour stand out a little bit more, make my cheekbones appear higher and more lifted. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bake my face. All right, now is when I like to take my skin finish and just take that and dust the powder off. For bronzer, I'm gonna take the MAC Exotic Ember Blush. Um, it's like orange and purpley kind of it's like this really 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 love this it's a mineralized blush if you don't like shimmer I wouldn't recommend this but I like a little shimmer and I just love the color of it so that's how I'm using this to bronze my elf contouring brush Go into my City Color Contour Effects kit. Looks like this. Did I get like shorter to you guys? Sorry. I feel like my contour is like really low. <laughs> I don't like that sometimes. This is a BH Cosmetics blending brush. I like to use this to contour my nose because it's really fluffy. It'll deposit the product like kind of diffused like. So I don't have to worry about doing too much blending when I do my nose contour. I don't like to blend my, I don't like to 
do my nose contour with anything that that has shimmer in it I feel like it just looks better without shimmer For blush, I'm taking two eyeshadows. I'm taking Oktoberfest and Neon Orange from Coastal Scents. I use a regular blush brush to do so. I believe this is from a BH Cosmetics um, brush set. That's what most of my brushes are from. This is my best friend, like, my best, my absolute best friend. This is MAC Fix Plus Spray. It just gets rid of that powdery look. Um, I like to put it in this kind of spray bottle just because I don't like the way this, the actual, like, bottle sprays. So I just put it in a regular spray bottle and literally drench my face with this. Okay. Can literally never have too much fix plus <laughs> I recently got back into using my gotta glow from elf it's very very nice I love this highlight Gonna take a little bit of my Missy Lynn, the, go into the Missy Lynn palette and take like the, the highlighters, both of them. Switching my brush to this right here, it's like a blending brush. Um, I don't even know where it's from. This might be a NYX brush, but I'm really not sure. Um, I like to highlight my nose using a smaller brush. Cause I feel like it just deposits the color better and I can place it better I guess. Took way too much. You really don't need a lot of this. Especially for this small area. So there we go. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and come back to show you guys the end product. This is the end look. I just added my eyes and my lips. And if you're interested in seeing this look, um, it should be up soon, if not already. Uh, make sure you go check it out. Comment below telling me what you want to see next on my channel. Click that subscribe button and the like button on this video too. Share it with a friend and yeah, just spread the word about Sparkle Craze. Let's get to 200 subscribers. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys later on. So yeah, bye Sparklets.